leather I got from um, Maverick Leather. It was on sale. It's got some blemishes on it. I don't know what that is. Uh, so, you know, there's a little dirt on it. I'm using my garage floor to cut out the, the big piece. And um, I don't know if that's going to be okay or not. I was hoping to make two uh, tote bags out of this. And uh, let's go down to half. You can see that it's a good size, full hide. And um, I might just be lucky to get one of them out of it because of the blemishes over there. But um, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Uh, this is set up pretty much. This cardboard piece is basically my template. And um, we'll cut it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the first cut. It's uh, right there. Can't really see it, but there it is. Uh, there it is, nice, right there. That's the first cut. Now we're gonna cut it along this side up here. Um, and then I have to cut it over there too, but what I want to do is make sure that I have enough. So if I have a little extra, that's okay. Okay, so that square right there, that rectangle is going to turn into a tote bag from the pattern um, on Sale Rights website. Hopefully, I can get another rectangle out of this side. I was hoping to get uh, at least two. My problem here is this is damaged. This is damaged over here. So I'm not going to get that. This way, uh, if you do it long ways, um, let's see. I think it fits. Oh, it might be able to get out most of the oh, yeah. there we go so i could probably do that um, and get another one uh it'll have this is a scrap piece get rid of most of those most of them but not the last two which will be over there uh but you know uh, these are kind of prototypes so we'll see how that goes so if i can cut another piece then i'd be doing pretty good um so uh, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this out too uh, and we'll see how that goes all right okay so I was able to cut it up the whole side got cut up uh, here's a scrap piece here um, here's another scrap piece here I think I might be able to make a guitar strap out of this piece. Um, but we'll see. And then here's a, a nice, another piece. Um, so some of that stuff is probably going to have to have, um, uh, be used to cut some straps for the bags. And then here's another scrap piece. I have no idea what to do with that. Um, but it really pretty nice uh, leather anyway uh, I got two six square foot pieces and uh, that's enough to do the two tote bags um, depending on how they come out we'll see how they come out but um, I'm hoping that these will be uh, real nice but you guys get to watch us uh, watch me make them um, so you know and uh, we'll be determining um, what color thread to use. Uh, right now, I'm thinking white bonded polyester because that's what came with the sale rate sewing machine. But um, uh, I haven't fully decided yet. Anyway, uh, there you go. It's all cut up, and that's the first phase is to cut it. I actually cut it bigger than the pattern required so that I knew I had enough to, um, you know, I know I have enough to make the two tote bags. And that's what I was interested in. So I got them and uh, there you go. So like I said, here's a piece of scrap. Do, 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 do. Well, scraps turn into things, but right now they're not slated for nothing. Uh, except maybe 
that one I showed you. Uh, oh, that one might make a better guitar strap because it's prettier. And it doesn't have any blemishes. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll make two. Uh, anyway, um, there's this one's got some blemishes. I didn't want to have these in the bags. Unfortunately, one of the bags has um, one or two of those kinds of spots in it. But uh, it is. And it looks like it was a drip from the factory as opposed to something from the um, cow, like a brand or something like that. And there was a brand on here, or maybe it was just a number. Um, but it was X6226 or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back. Bye.